Hi, it's Miss Di Lorenzo from Project Elevate, and I'm going to go over with you some ways that you can create a movement sequence to go along with your poetry. And so the very first thing is I'll read through the poem with students and we'll look for words that inspire movement. So here's a little hint. A lot of the times verbs or action words are really good words to inspire movement. But adjectives can also inspire movement. Those are the words that are descriptive. Those are the really juicy words that describe the way people move or the way people look. Also figurative language, things that say it's as bright as the sun or he was as fast as a galloping horse. Those kinds of things really inspire movement as well. So as you're reading your poetry, you really want to be looking for that inspiration. So the first stanza of this poem called Sea Creatures is one that we'll tackle today. And this poem is by Maish Goldish and it's part of your deep sea theme. So the, the first stanza reads, come along, come with me, take a dive in the deep blue sea, put on your gear, let's explore all the way to the ocean floor. So let's look at just the first line. So if I were just coming up with gestures, I might go like this for come with me. But because we're moving, we're dancing, we want to include our whole body and even explore different levels. We have a high level when we reach up to the sky and we stand on our tippy toes. We can be at a medium level with our knees bent, really working our spine. And we can also be really low to the floor. So in this first stanza, we want to try to meet all different levels. We want to move around our space freely in order to explore those different levels. So come along, come with me. Let's take a giant step forward with our left foot and then scoop up and pull your hands towards you and we'll do it twice. Come with me. One more time. Come along, come with me. Really trying to get someone to come along. Take a dive in the deep blue sea. So diving, I automatically feel putting my hands together and going up and then way down to the low level and then maybe scooping back up and reaching the arms up to the side like you're coming up for air. So let's try to take those two lines and put them together. Come along, come with me. Take a dive in the deep blue sea. The third line is put on all your gear, let's explore. So I'm gonna take a giant step to my right, put my gear on one arm, a giant step to the left, getting my whole body involved, put my gear on the left arm, and then maybe to explore, we can put our hand over our eyes and bend the knees. All right, let's try it from the beginning. Come along, come with me, take a dive in the deep blue sea, put on all your gear, let's explore. And the last line is all the way to the ocean floor. So imagine your body making the shapes of waves and kind of start up high and then make your way down to the ocean floor, making your body really wavy, all the way down, making sure that you can keep your balance and maybe even just brushing the open ocean floor with your fingertips. Can we try that whole sequence together? Sure we can, here we go. Come along, come with me. Take a dive to the deep blue sea. Put on all your gear, it's really heavy. Let's explore all the way to the ocean's floor. So just coming up with those movements for that stanza, it helped me memorize it really quickly. It's also helping me read it with expression in my voice. It's making me a more fluent reader and I hope it does the same for you. So have fun, you have five more stanzas of this poem to work on together, creating your own movement sequences. Try to come up with moves that are low to the ground on low levels. In the middle, we're really bending your knees and working your spine and your core, and also reaching up high to the sky. Really use the whole ocean, down in the ocean floor and up high by the waves. And then 
you can move on to adding music to this if you'd like and maybe even possibly moving from non-locomotor movement is what we just did in our own space bubble to exploring different areas of the room. So layer on as many different pieces as you feel you and your class are comfortable with. Have fun.